So welcome back everybody to my quick tips on using MIDI in Pro Tools with Expand. In This is tip 6 and in tip 4 we learned how to draw in notes in MIDI which are here and we're going to look at today how we can use the grid to draw in different notes at different lengths. So if we go up to window first and get transport we can use this to play and to stop the notes. So these are the four notes that I drew in in the last two videos. So if we double click each of them we can get rid of them. Now up here if we click grid, beside grid, we can click one bar and then we can pick our pen tool this is what we done the last time. Those are one bar notes. Now if we change the grid from one bar to the half note underneath, we can draw in two notes in the one bar. Or if we change it to quarter notes, we can draw in four notes in the one bar. So if you control Z, all of that, we can draw in even more notes in the bar by going into eighth notes. And we could put them. We could put them in every second note. we could go into 16th notes and then we could go into 32nd notes you see a lot of this in, in trap music in the hi-hat for instance a lot of hi-hats in succession very quickly. So that's just a different way you can you can draw in different notes and you can change the velocity of each note which we spoke about in the previous video. So it just so it doesn't sound as robotic when you click on each note you can Slight, slightly change the velocity so it sounds more human so you can get really creative with with using the grid and using using MIDI and drawing in notes with expand in Pro Tools and um, this is just a demonstration of of doing that it's it's not very musical but it gives you an idea of of what you can do and you can even go into 64 as well which is even more notes so that's it for now this video is tip 6 on using MIDI in Pro Tools if you want to check out the previous videos I have, it's all for beginners who are just starting out. Hopefully you learned something from it. I also will be releasing another video this Friday on, on creating a tune or a beat in Pro Tools with Expand, all using stock plugins and all created with MIDI. So if you want to check that out, I also have three previous videos that I've also done would expand in Pro Tools three three different tracks that you can check out if you're interested in. So that's it for now folks. I hope you enjoy this quick tip on using MIDI with expand in Pro Tools and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.